as you're turning to Psalms chapter 39, um, we would like to um, say that we desire you to help us pray as we go to preach revival tonight over at Brother Lever Leviner's church. I'm going in Jesus' name to be a blessing and a help to those that, amen, may be needing some help. Praise God. And I, I count on your prayers. Amen. I believe uh, it makes a difference when God's people joins together in prayer. Amen. We have needs here. Thank God. And we got needs everywhere all over the world. But we serve a God today that can meet every need. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms chapter number 39. And uh, we'll read, praise God, just for a few moments here uh, this morning. In verse number one, I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace even from good, and my sorrow was stirred. My, hot, my heart was hot within me while I was musing the fire burned, then spake I with my tongue. Now I want you to look at verse number four. Lord, make me to know mine end and measure and the measure of my days what it is that I may know how frail I am. Praise God. Behold, thou hast made my days as a hand, hand breath, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Praise God. I want us to look once again, verse number four. Lord, Make me to know mine end and the measure of my days, what it is that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as a hand breath, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man is at his best state, is altogether vanity, Selah. Psalms chapter number 91. Turn with us, if you will, while you're standing. Psalms chapter 91. I want to look at verse number. Praise God. Psalms chapter number 91, I've got wrote down here, and I've got verse number 12, but that's, amen, I don't think that's the verse that I meant to write down. So y'all going to have to bear with me just a moment. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I'm just going to refer back to my scripture that I read in Psalms chapter 30, 39. Verse number four. Amen. We'll look back there once again. Psalms number 39. Amen. Verse number four. Praise God. We want to look there once again. Lord, make me to know mine end and the measure of my days, what it is that I may know how frail I am. Amen. Ask the blessings of the Lord upon the reading of his word. Precious Father, how we honor you today. Praise you, Lord, for your gracious love and mercy toward us, O oh God. Lord, would you today, Father, use us. Touch us, Lord, in this service. Hallelujah. Help us, O oh God, to speak the word that you have given unto us. That we may speak, Lord, according to thy holy will. Do thy will, O oh God, is our desire today. Hallelujah. Use us for thy glory. 
we'll praise thee and give you honor and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I found my scripture. Praise God. Prayer always makes a difference, don't it? Look in the 90th chapter. Not, not chapter 91. Chapter 90. Amen. Verse number. We want to look. Amen. Verse number 12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Amen. Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. I want to talk to us just for a few moments here this morning. Brother Frankie had already mentioned about his wife speaking to her concerning how just so quickly it looked like this week had just flew by. I believe he said he told her Thursday or Friday was right here on them almost uh, just in no time how that this week had went by so quickly. And I want to tell us tonight or this morning that God has given us opportunity, the greatest opportunity uh, that you and I could ever have is for the Lord Jesus, amen, to give us an opportunity of salvation. But my thought here this morning, amen, is your fleeting moment of opportunity, amen. The fleeting moment of opportunities, praise God. And uh, today, God woke us up to face another day. According to what I see, there's 24 hours in one day. There's 1,440 minutes in one day. There's 86,000 seconds in one day. Amen. But I want to just tell you this morning, that little hand on that clock that we see back there on that back wall, it's continuously moving. Praise God. It's not stopping. It's continuously going forward. Time is fleeting away. We know this morning, amen, that every moment that God gives us is a precious gift from the Lord. And this morning, time is short at its best. I was telling my wife the other day, praise God, a lot of people say, Brother Andrew, you're still young. In all reality, I'm probably, my half of my life is gone. Uh, I'm 42 years old. I may never make it to 80. Amen. The Bible's promised us 70 years. Praise God. If we live any longer, it's by reason of strength, according to the scripture. Time, amen, is not waited on me. It's not waiting on you. Amen. Time is fleeting among us. Jonathan Edwards, the great preacher in the early days that preached that great message, he said, sinners in the hands of an angry God. He also quoted this. He said, time that is past you can never recall. Of time to come you are not sure at all. Only the present is now in your power. Therefore, redeem and improve every hour. Amen. Praise God. Time this morning is fleeting. Our moments of opportunity to be saved, amen, is fleeting from among us. Praise God. And these verses that we've read to you here, the wise, amen, writer in these scriptures says, Lord, Make me to know mine end and the measure of my days. Amen. What it is that I may know how frail I am. Praise God. Just this week, the tragedy that we have heard about. Young man didn't have any idea that his life would be ended this morning. Brother Frankie and Sister Charlene, their family had to leave early today. Amen. To go and attend that funeral just 40-something years old going down I-95 this week or, amen, early this week. And his life, amen, ended just that quick. Praise God. And I feel so, amen, heavy and sorrow for that family this morning. 
knowing, praise God, that uh, they are going to have to attend that service the day of that young person that has went out to meet God Almighty. Amen. But it goes to remind us this morning, as these scriptures say, teach me, Lord, that I may know how frail I am. Praise God. We understand this morning that it's God that breathed into us the very breath of life. He gave us this morning this life. And I believe the writer said, The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank God. I don't know how much longer I have in this world. But I know every moment, thank God, is fleeting away. I've seen my children as they were born. Thank God. And time has flew by. Now my daughter is married and my son is graduating high school this year. Thank God. And I look back and I wonder, my, when I first came here to pastor, how small they were. Thank God. And time is not waited on me. It's just went on. Thank God. And oh, I want to tell us this morning, thank God, your moments of opportunities are now. Thank God. Now is your time to take advantage Amen. Of the opportunity that God is giving you. Amen. Hallelujah. But one day, my friend, thank God, those moments will pass away. Amen. Thank God. I can look back this morning and I can see time, Sister Mary. Thank God that I wished I could recall, amen, some times and moments in my life. Amen. amen that I could take advantage of that opportunity more than what I did. Amen, but I can't go back, thank God, and recall any of those days. Hallelujah, but I need to understand this morning how precious it is for God, amen, to still be giving us opportunity this morning. Thank God, the greatest opportunity, hallelujah, to be able, amen, to be saved. Thank God to know, amen, that our sins have been washed away this morning. Thank God, what a great great time, moment of time and opportunity. Thank God. I remember somebody mentioning about that sister, amen, that had been, amen, so sick and she had gotten the dementia and Alzheimer's. She was in the nursing home. Thank God. And she didn't even know who her children was. Thank God. Those that come in to visit with her, she didn't know who they were. Thank God. But said the preacher went to see her one day and said, Mama said, do you know who I am? She said, no, I'm afraid I don't know who you are. And then he said, he asked her the ultimate question. He said, do you know who Jesus is? She sa he said, her eyes sparkled, praise God. She said, oh, yes, amen, I know who Jesus is. Hallelujah. Thank God. Oh, that time, that song we sing, I never shall forget that day. Thank God when all the burdens of my soul was rolled away. What a moment of time in our life. Hallelujah. I may forget who you are. Thank God. May not know even who my wife is one day. I don't know. Thank God. But there's an opportunity that I took advantage of. Thank God when the Lord saved my soul. I don't never want to forget that day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Moments is fleeting. Time is going by. Amen. I want to remind us this morning, the Bible clearly tells us, as it was in the days of Noah, and as it was in the day of Lot, so shall it be in the day of the coming of the Son of Man. Thank God. I don't know, sister, uh, uh, how you feel this morning, saints of God. Amen. But uh, Noah, amen, 120 years seems like a long time to us. But it's really not any time compared to eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. There is no time and space that we can put on eternity. Amen. Amen. It seemed like 120 years was a long time. Amen. Hallelujah. And in my mind and in your mind, it is. Hallelujah. But oh, there were so many of them in that generation while Noah was telling them, look, amen, this ain't always going to be like this. Thank God, right now you can see the sun shining. Right now, amen, you can see, thank God, the day, amen, looks like everything is bright. Everything looks good. But it's not always going to be like this. 
Hallelujah. This is a moment of time, saints. I wish I could tell us this morning. Amen. We need to see. Somebody said it's all doom and gloom. Everywhere I look is doom and gloom. Oh, no. As long as there is mercy and the grace of God and the hand of God that's being extended, uh, amen, to this lost and dying generation, it's not all doom and gloom. No. Amen. It ain't all at loss, my friend. As long as God will anoint the man of God, amen, to throw out the lifeline, amen, thank God and preach the message of hope, hallelujah, as long as the door of mercy, thank God, is still open, and you can walk in that door, I'm telling you, it's an opportunity, amen, like you've never known, it won't always be this way, friend, thank God, this is an opportunity that is fleeting from among us this morning. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Noah said, get ready, get ready. Hey, Amen. Today it's pretty. It don't look like it's going to rain. Thank God it's sunshine and it's so pretty. Thank God I believe I'll just go on and sin a little bit more. I believe I'll go on and live my way and do things I want to do. Thank God it ain't going to rain today. Thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, hey, Amen. Hear me this morning. I want to say something right here. Amen. The Lord, amen, he hadn't come back. I, I, I don't know when he's a coming. Thank God, brother, it may be today as we sing that song this morning. It may be at noon. Thank God I don't know when he's coming, but I know he's coming soon. Thank God. Amen. But sister, I believe as Noah was a building that ark, thank God there was some of his family. Amen. That knew. Thank God that they lived in anticipation to the day. Amen. Amen. Daddy's a building that ark. Amen. Thank God Noah's family. Thank God they saw him out there. They knew he was. it was a serious matter. Thank God and they was living in preparations to the day. Amen. Thank God. God that it was going to rain I don't know when Jesus is a coming back but I believe just as much as he went away thank God hallelujah he's coming again I don't know when that day is going to be hey man sister it's been over 2,000 years ago and the Bible teaches me hey man that there are many that are saying in their hearts hey man many that are saying in their hearts the Lord has delayed his coming thank God the Bible said they'd begin to smite their fellow brethren they're not living in preparations for the coming of the Lord they're not really hey man expecting amen, that great day of the coming of the Son of Man. Ah, he's the latest coming. That's the way it was in the days of Noah. Amen. He would preach to them. He would warn them. This is your moment. You need to believe. Thank God you need to get ready. You need to get ready. Thank God. I feel the Holy Ghost right here this morning. Amen, brother. That old ship of Zion. She's going to come say through before long. He's a coming after his children. He's coming after his church. I haven't yet, brother. Hey, but that old song said, swing low, sweet chariot. I haven't yet stepped on board. Hey, man, that chariot this morning. But I'm a living, a life in anticipating and waiting for the moment. Thank God that the sound comes from heaven. Thank God that Jesus comes again. And Sister Deanna, I want to step on board. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I don't know how you feel this morning. Thank God. But if you ain't ready to step on board when he comes through, when the Spirit of God comes, when the Holy Ghost, amen, thank God, when the rapture of the church takes place, if you're not ready then, it's going to be too late. I know somebody said we're going to have second and third, and some preachers said we're going to have seven different raptures. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible said, Blessed and holy are they which do have part in what? The first resurrection. For in the second there is what? No power. Praise God. You better be ready, amen, when that chariot swings low. 
Thank God you better be ready. Amen. Thank God when the God calls this church. Hallelujah. It's going to be the Bible said, listen, I'm preaching on a fleeting moment. Hey, but my friend, you want to know how quick that moment's going to be? Hey, but Brother David, you quote in the book of Thessalonians so often time. Does it mention the word moment? Hey, but in the what? In the moment. In the twinkling of an eye. Thank God, my friend, you talking about a fleeting moment. Amen. In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Amen. At that last trump, thank God the Bible said the dead in Christ is going to rise up. Amen. Thank God they're going to meet the Lord in the air. And we which are alive and remain, thank God we shall be changed. Thank God, brother, it's going to happen in a moment. Amen. If you're not not ready to meet God. Hallelujah. There's not going to be no time to get ready. Amen. If you not got sealed with the blood of Jesus, thank God it'll be too late, my friend. Your moment is now. Amen. Your time is now. Amen. Brother Smith, I love what I'm doing. I love the kind of life I'm living. Just one more day in sin. Just one more day living like I'm living. You better wake up, my friend. Amen. You better stir yourself and understand. God's not waiting on nobody. Amen. There's an appointed time. Thank God when that time comes. Ready or not, my friend, that trumpet's going to sound from heaven. Thank God whether you're on board or not. It ain't going to wait on my son. It ain't going to wait on my daughter. It ain't going to wait on my wife. Hallelujah. As it was in the day days of Lot, so shall it be in the day of the coming of the Son of Man. Amen. Lot was ready. Amen. But the Bible said his wife done what? She looked back. Oh, glory. I, I, was, I was reading the words of a song last night, and it just kept rolling over and over and over in my mind. said, oh, what a weeping and a wailing. As the lost was told of their fate. Praise God. And it went on and it said, they cried to the rocks and the mountains. Amen. But their prayer, their cry and their prayer was too late. Amen. That thing just kept over and over in my mind. Amen. Oh, thank God when that day comes. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. You won't worry about your sin and then. You won't worry about your worldly places then. You won't worry about, amen, your pleasures. Amen. In this old world then. Amen. When that time comes. Amen, brother, you'll be woke up. Amen, brother. But the, that song said, you'll wake up, but it'll be too late, my friend. I'm sending out a warning this morning. Thank God your moment of opportunity is fleeting from among you. Amen, young and old. You've got an appointment with God Almighty. You're going to stand before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen, what are you doing? Amen, with every day. Day, the precious gift of God when he's extending it to your life. What are you doing with it, my friend? Amen. Don't push it away. Amen. Don't turn it aside. Don't live like you want to live. Amen. And push aside. Amen. The conviction and the dealing power of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wonder this morning. Hallelujah. If I could have Brother Noah as my evangelist preaching today. Hallelujah. If Brother Noah was standing before you this morning. Hallelujah. What kind of message would he give out today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. This is the thing, Brother Cooper. Hallelujah. More than a Noah is here. More than a John the Baptist is here. Hey, come on. What did you come to see? A reed shaking in the wind? Hey, man, more 
then John the Baptist is here. Thank God the Holy Ghost that was sent from heaven. Thank God, hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said he told that rich man. He said they had they had Moses and they had the prophets. Thank God. I want to tell you something this morning, friend. Your moments of opportunity, amen, if you let them pass you by, you will not be able to reach back and grab a hold of them again. Amen. The Holy Ghost, thank God, is sending out opportunities after opportunity. Amen. They didn't have this brother in Noah's day. They didn't have this in Lot's day. Hey, Amen. They didn't have the Holy Ghost like we have it today. But I want to preach to somebody this morning and tell you right there in that book, hand it to me, my friend. Hey, Amen. 66 books. Hey, Amen. Of example after example. Hey, Amen. Brother, uh, warning after warning. Noah's day. Lot's day. Hey, Amen. Uh, time after time. Hey, Amen. And then on top of all of this holy word of God. Amen, brother. He said, I'm going to send the Holy Ghost. Amen. He said, the Holy Ghost is going to come. Amen. And the Bible said his fan is in his hand. And he'll thoroughly purge his floor. The Holy Ghost is going to walk up and down the aisles of the churches. The Holy Ghost is going to walk up and down each pew of the churches. Not only do you have this, brother, but the Spirit says, come. The bride says, come. Whosoever will, the Holy Ghost is a calling. The Holy Ghost is a pleading, my friend. Opportunity after opportunity. Oh, Lamb of God. Hallelujah. 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 There are some among us this morning. Oh, God. Amen. If certain opportunities came to you and I know what I'm preaching about this morning if certain opportunities would knock at your door you'd be so quick to open them up hallelujah some of you's just been waiting on the right opportunities thank God you've got big plans you've made big ambitions for life and you're just waiting on those opportunities to come your way. Hallelujah. And Jesus is walking right down the aisles of this church this morning. Hallelujah. He's knocking. I got something that the world can't give you. Oh, I feel God. I got something, Grandpa, he can't give you. Holy, 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 holy. Uh, hallelujah, Brother Bell. Can I use you just a moment this morning? Hallelujah, Brother Bell. Hallelujah. He's got a grandson at the age to get married. Hallelujah. And he said, he said, I got a piece of land. I'm going to give my grandson. Amen. It's worth a lot of money for him to put in my house on. Hallelujah. Brother Bell's son is in Iraq working contractor work. And he, I told Brother Bell, I said, Brother Bell, I said, your son ain't here to help you weed eat your yard no more. I said, Who, who's going to help you? He said, why, my grandson's going to help me. I said, is that right? He said, yeah. I said, well. He said, huh. He said, I gave him a big old piece of land for him to be able to amen, build his house on. And the least he can do is help me weed eat my yard. Glory to God. Amen. And Brother Bell, he ought to be happy if that's all he's got to do is help weed eat your yard. I'm thinking this morning, amen, hallelujah, amen, God woke you up today, God gave you the breath to come to this church, God's amen blessed you to be able to wear the nice clothes that you have on this morning, every good gift, every perfect gift coming from above, hallelujah, oh, amen, I want to tell you, it don't matter what the devil, devil's whispering in your ear, you are in Indebted to a God, amen, that sent his only begotten son, amen, to die on that old rugged cross this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My 
grim, amen, opportunity, amen, walking down your way, knocking at your door, amen, how is it that God has blessed us in such a bountiful way, amen, that when God comes and knocks on our door and says, let me in, amen, you never answer that door, you never open up that door after God has done all these things for you, my friend, I'm preaching right now to somebody today, you need to wake up. You need to realize, uh, amen, my friend, God can take it away just like that, friend. Uh, hallelujah. You, you owe God your life this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Mayoni, if God would have wanted to and he, if he would have desired to have made such a plan, he could have twisted folks' arm and forced them to serve him. But that ain't the way my God operates. Hallelujah. God don't want a people that he's got the force to love him. Come on. Hallelujah. Help me preach right here just a minute. Somebody said, I can't live them commandments if you love God. I said, if you love God, his commandments are not grievous. His commandments ain't hard. If you love him, you'll keep his commandments. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Amen. He's not a God to force us to serve him. Hallelujah. I got to thinking, as I'm coming to a close right here this morning, the scripture means something when it says, as it was in the days of Noah, as it was in the days of Lot. I want to explain to you real quickly this morning. I may have said this before. But I want to explain it to you this morning. Somebody might be among us this morning. And you might think, well, I'm going to get saved when things get real bad. When things turn upside down and I know it's just about, I'm going to get on board. I'm going to get saved. I also want to tell you something this morning. The Bible says in Noah's day they were building. They were going to and fro. The Bible said they were marrying and giving in marriage. The Bible said they were eating and they were drinking. Praise God. It didn't sound to me like there was no famine in the land. It didn't sound to me like, amen, that the economy was busted. But it sounded to me like everything was flourishing. Now, I want to say, tell you this. God's coming back for a people that can live in the midst of a flourishing world, amen, that's all this going on in the world, amen, just right at your fingertips, you can have it. But I want to tell you what God said to Peter. He said, Peter, lovest thou me more than these? That's who Jesus is coming for. Thank God in the middle of all of what's going on, the prosperity of this world, God's going to have a people that has made up their mind. Amen. I'm going to serve Jesus. I'm going God's way. Hallelujah. He's not twisting my arm. Somebody said, Brother Andrew, why don't you go? Amen. God help me. Why don't you go to these places of the world? Amen. Thank God. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, me and my wife went to the beach Thursday. Hallelujah. If you're going to go to the beach, you better get there and get home because it's getting hot. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if you think I'm walking out there, amen, with all that ungodliness, no, sir, I don't even have a desire. Amen. And it, you, you could hook a horse chain up to my wife. You couldn't drag her out there. Praise God. Amen. No, sir. Amen. We have to go when it's cold and when there ain't nobody hardly out there. Amen. But, sister, thank God when they're out there laying out there. Amen. And they're half naked. Thank God they took their clothes off. Amen. And the world's got their thing going on. You know what? I made a decision and a choice. Amen. I don't want to go out there. Amen. Why is that, Brother Smith? Because there's something on the inside. Oh, can I preach just a moment? Uh, amen. There's something on the inside, Brother Eric, and it's a working on the outside. Hallelujah, thank God. And it's, it's brought about a change in my life. My, my 
ba ba feel the Holy Ghost. I said there's something on the inside, and it's a working on the outside, and it's brought about a change in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't I put on that worldly attire? Why don't I go to the worldly places? Because I don't want to. Thank God I'm like Abraham. I've got my vision set on a heaven. He said, brother, hallelujah, seek it for a city that hath foundations, whose builder and whose maker is God Almighty. Oh, hallelujah. I've got my eyes set higher than this world. Glory to God. I'm just passing through here. Sister Candace, I don't want one thing to weight me down when that trumpet sounds. Come on, church. Hallelujah. I'm trying to walk just as light as I can. Hallelujah. He said, lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset us. Praise God when that trumpet sounds. I don't want nothing pulling me down. Hallelujah. I want to take wings like an eagle, Brother Johnson. Hallelujah. And I want to fly out of this old world. Amen, brother. And go to that place where there's holy written on the pots and pans. Where there's holy written on the horse's bridle. Where there's holy amen brother all up and down the streets and the avenues of that place called heaven. I tell you I gotta long it to go to that place. Hallelujah. Oh glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 It's going to happen. Just as much as it happened in Noah's day, it's going to happen in the moment. Hallelujah. God help me preach right here. You come in this church straddling the fence, one foot in the world, one foot in the church, and you think you're ready to meet God? It won't happen, brother. Come on. When he comes, he's coming for a spotless bride. The Bible said for his, his, amen, his bride hath made herself ready. We've been washed. We've been cleansed. Amen. Them spots and them wrinkles of the world has been washed out of us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hear me this morning. I'm going to preach to you just a minute. I've got to close, I know. Hallelujah. We got folks in this church right now. Church, people in this church who had just recently been saved. And they haven't come as far as some of you've come. But I want to tell you what. They're just as clean in the eyesight of God as you are. If God... Peter said, Lord, I ain't never ate nothing common and none. All I've ever done was preach to the Jews. And you telling me to go down there to them old dirty, filthy Gentiles? Come on. Hey, Amen. That's how Peter felt about it. Hey, Amen. And out of, and out of nowhere, there come a vision from the Lord. A sheep come down from heaven. The Bible said with all manner of four-footed beast on that sheet. And God said, Peter, rise up, slay, and eat. And Peter said, not so, Lord. Nothing common or unclean has ever entered into my mouth. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But God said to Peter, Peter, what I have cleansed, hallelujah, the preacher didn't do it, you didn't do it, amen, the church discipline didn't do it, he said, but what I have cleansed, oh, he said, let no man call common her unclean, some of you may not have been in holiness all these years, but if you've been saved, amen, you're just as much washed in the blood of the lamb as I am this morning. Hey, Amen. If you don't know sin, the Bible said it's not imputed unto you. But to know to do good and doeth it not. To him it is sin. Hallelujah. When you come to the knowledge 
Amen. Of knowing right and wrong. You're going to have to make a decision. What you going to do, my friend? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There will be people that will make it into heaven that never did join my church. Glory to God. But they got washed in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. You see, I'm glad the God of heaven, he looks beyond what I can see. And he sees that heart. Amen. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I'm fixing to come to a close. Amen. If you weren't here Wednesday night, you missed my little story. Praise God about my daddy. Hallelujah. Don't jump off the boat with me yet now. Amen. When my daddy married my mama, he had a living wife. Praise God. He had a living wife. But he didn't know John 3.16 was in the Bible and didn't know nothing about God. Hallelujah. Never been to church. Never know nothing about God. Went to church and the church where he was going to accepted that. But daddy got to reading the Bible and got to praying. And they made him a teacher in the Sunday school class. He didn't know no better. He got to reading the Bible and he went to the preacher. He said, preacher, he said, I'm going to have to sit down. I've been reading the Bible. He said, I've got more than one wife. He said, me and my wife may have to go different ways. The preacher said, Brother Smith, I appreciate you doing that. He said, you do whatever God leads you to do. Two weeks later, my dad didn't have a children by his first wife, but she had children by a former husband. And daddy saw that boy in the convenience store. He said, Mr. Jack, did you hear about, he called my, my daddy's first wife's name. Said Daddy said, no, lost contact with her years ago. She was living in Texas. He said, well, mama died. She had cancer and she died. Daddy sent to Texas and got a, a death certificate. He kept it in the lids of his Bible because some people always questioned him. They didn't know if he was in adultery. <laughs> Praise God. And you know what? They told my daddy, several many people through the years, they told him, they said, there was no way you could have got saved and you had a living wife. I want to tell you what, they were flat wrong. It don't matter if your sins are as crimson. Come on. Thank God. I believe, brother, if you can get right before you get saved, you ain't got no need to get saved. Hey, man, but you need to get saved where you can get right. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, man. Thank God, hallelujah. Hey, babe, there's going to be people in heaven, hey, babe, that never did join my church. Hey, babe, but if they got right with God, hallelujah, and God washed them, and God cleansed them, thank God, hallelujah. I believe, brother, once you know what's wrong and right, you're going to have to do something about it, amen. Thank God, Brother Smith, do you preach against adultery? I sure do. I believe there's only one. You can can only have one. Hey, my brother, until death. Hallelujah. Thank God. And when you die, hey, man, some of you is going to get upset with me right here. My Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to quit talking about that preacher that preached till one o'clock. I might fall in that category this morning. Hallelujah. Hey, man. Praise God. Somebody said, uh, the Bible said, until what? Death do us part. Thank God. So, once they're dead, Brother Smith, they got to wait a year at least until they get married again. Show it to me in the book. Glory to God. Abraham, when Abraham's wife died, find it for yourself. When Abraham's wife died, he told him, he said, I go bury my dead. He did not say, I go bury my wife. Hey, but it wasn't his wife. She was dead. Hey, but until death do us part. 
Abraham said, Amen, I go bury my dead. Thank God. Now, if you want to wait six months or a year before you find you another one, amen, I would probably highly recommend it. Amen, but I can't got no Bible, amen, to tell you just how long you've got to wait, amen, before you get married. The only thing I can tell you, you better hope and pray, amen, thank God, before you go get another one, amen, that they've been involved and they've been put under the dirt, praise God, and they're gone before you go marry another one, praise the Lord. Amen, thank God. If they're still living and you go marry another one and the trouble it sounds, my friend, there's something going to be pulling you down. Glory to God. Brother Smith, you preaching mighty long this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. We ain't got but one time to do it, and we better do it right. Sister, amen. I'm coming to a close. I done said that before, didn't I? I'm fixing to this time. Hallelujah. Thank God. My daddy, I done told you about my daddy. He went to Germany right after the war. And he was a wicked man. He went AWOL for 120 days. The MPs tried to locate him and couldn't find him. He is running around. And he won't, he won't, he won't nothing but a scoundrel. Amen. They say I got some stepbrothers and sisters in Germany somewhere. I don't know who they are. Praise God. But he, 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 he run around. Amen. He done some things he shouldn't have done. 120 days they caught up with him. Amen. And they said, now, Smith, you can come back in the army and we'll accept you if you apologize and straighten up. He said, but if you don't straighten up we're gonna, and you don't say nothing, we're going to send you home. But you're not going to get an honorable discharge. Well, all daddy could think about was home. And he kept his mouth closed and he didn't say nothing. They sent him back home and he didn't have an honorable discharge. Praise God. But he done some things. and He was such a sinner. He told me before he died, he's 82 years old. He said, son, I mean, daddy, daddy was strict. He was strict. He wouldn't go certain places. Amen. He couldn't hardly get him to go out to eat nowhere. He didn't want, hardly want to listen to the radio. He was strict. And some people said he was overboard. But this is what my daddy told me. He said, son, I done so evil when I was in sin. He said, I can't afford to go to hell and face all them things that I done when I was in yonder in sin. And brother, let me tell you what, he lived it strict and straight because he said, I've got to make it to heaven, whatever it takes, hallelujah. And I feel like telling somebody this morning, thank God your moments are before you today as we're standing all over the church. Amen. Hallelujah. The writer said, make your calling and your election sure with God. Hallelujah. As every head is bowed across the building today. Glory, glory to God. Amen. Maybe somebody might have come to this church this morning. And you've been looking for the time, the moment that God would knock at your door and deal with you. I have felt God in this service this morning been talking to several ministers somebody called me just this past week they were telling me sister Alice in Atlanta Georgia in a holiness church about like this one they said a revival has broke out in that place how many's got saved and how many's got the Holy Ghost different parts of the country Brother Simeon, I'm hearing God is moving. I just want to tell you, this moment will pass. But while God's moving, while God's knocking, while God's dealing, I believe I'd step in. I'd get what I needed from the Lord. Is there one with every head is bowed? Is there one this morning? 
said, I'd like for the day to be my day. Give my heart and life to Jesus. Amen. We'd love to pray with you this morning. Hallelujah. Don't let this moment pass you by. You leave this church once again undone without God. Once again, God's give you this chance to come. Why don't you take advantage of it and say, despite what the devil says, I'm going to step out this morning. I'm going to make that choice and give my heart and life to God. Amen. Why don't you put that devil behind you this morning? He's trying to hold you back, keep you from giving your heart to God. Put him behind you this morning. Make that step. Brother Smith, I've tried it before, and I failed, and I didn't make it. Brother Smith, I've tried how many times? Don't quit trying, friend. Get up from where you are. Amen. Take advantage of this time this morning. Is there one while we're waiting? The altar's open for you. Is there one? Hallelujah. 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 Yes, as the church is coming, saints of God is coming to the altar. Sinner friend, make your way. Come on. Come on. Seek God. Seek God. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, friend. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus cares for you this morning. 